this current situation is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. No one in this country should be treated that way. It's not fair. It's not right. And these are hardworking people we're talking about, right? People who care about their kids, care about their lives. Uh, and these circumstances could happen to any of us. This is one of those there but for the grace of God go I kind of situations. None of us are exempt, ever. Uh, so I think it's clear that health insurance reform and what it means for our families is very much a women's issue. It is very much a women's issue. Uh, and if we want to achieve true equality for women, if that is our goal, uh, if we want to ensure that women have opportunities that they deserve, if that is our goal, uh, if we want women to be able to care for their families and pursue things that they could never imagine, then we have to reform the system. We have to reform the system. The status quo is unacceptable. It is holding women and families back, and we know it. Fortunately, that is exactly what my husband's plan proposes to do. Uh, and it's important for us to understand some of the basic principles of that plan. Under his plan, if you don't have insurance now or you lose your insurance at some point in the future, you'll be able to purchase affordable coverage through an insurance exchange, a marketplace with a variety of options that will let you compare prices and benefits. This is exactly the approach that is used to provide members of Congress with insurance. So the thought is that if it's good enough for members of Congress, it should be good enough for the people who vote them in. 